Hey, circle around me. I am the center of the circle. Hurry up, let's go. We have a program where we put our brand new trainees, our brand new student flight folks, before they get ready to go to basic training, um, they go through our program so that when they go to San Antonio, they hit the ground running. And that's why we've got instructors running around and yelling and getting in their face. We do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups. It's designed to be centric on what they're going to see with training instructors at BMT. What we don't tell our students is that what we do here is harder than what they'll see at BMT by far. My experience at basic training was actually pretty interesting. I was 33 when I went to BMT, so I thought I had it all figured out. I thought that when I came to student flight that uh, all the preparation that we had done was uh, going to help me get through BMT without a, without a problem. What I didn't realize is that when I got there, the PT was much harder than I anticipated, so I failed multiple times. I made a decision right then and there while I was dying on the PT pad that when I graduated, I'd come back and uh, I would try to fix this program. I had talked to the NCOC of Student Flight at that time and I said, hey, if you don't mind, I'd like to take over the PT program and, and volunteer my time. And he said, absolutely, go ahead and do it. I didn't want anyone to feel that sense of helplessness like I did. This is, this is one big family. Um, this is one big team. Like We all have to work together to make sure that the mission gets accomplished. The dedication that he's put in has made it so we've had zero PT failures in the last three years through BMT. The intensity and the training is important because it pushes these young trainees to go past their breaking point. The design of this workout is to show you where your, where your line is, right? It's to define and expose that line and then show you that you can move past it. Because that every failure is just an opportunity to succeed. So my impression so far of this first drill is it, it definitely is nerve wracking, you know, going into it I wasn't sure what to expect totally, so I had to just learn as I was going. Um, I just have to stay tough, know that it is all preparing me for basic and that it just pushed through and it'll be for the best. So as a recruiter, when I'm looking for my applicants, I'm actually looking for those that want to be part of something bigger than themselves. A lot of times they're like, you know what, I've never worked out a day in my life. And I'm like, no worries. We will prepare you for basic training. And I will personally come out to all your PTs and I will work out with you. Before I went to basic training, I didn't know what to expect. But here, uh, Sergeant Brazil was able to give us an idea of what was going to happen. So my PT scores did improve. Because of this, I was able to get Warhawk. Uh, Warhawk is when you get 100% on your PT test. We want to be just as fit to fight as our active duty counterparts. There shouldn't be any distinction between guard or active duty. We are one fit, one fight.